Hey Adam. What is good, my man? I have a question. For yeah, you. what is it? What is a 401k? Such an esoteric question. What is a 401k? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, let me break it down uh, by giving maybe the formal definition of a 401k. Okay, sure. A 401k, according to Investopedia, uh -huh. let's say, is, uh, is a company-sponsored retirement plan and specifically a defined contribution plan. Well, that was a lot. Yeah. Should I break it down? Break it down for okay. me. Okay. Which one do you want to know first? Um, so you said company-sponsored, yes. meaning? Meaning that a 401k is generally going to be offered by your employer. Got it. And the employer is offering a 401k as a benefit of working for them. Okay. Right? The, the big difference, because the next piece of it was a defined contribution plan. Yep. We've talked about this on past shows. Your father is... A, a postal carrier. A postal carrier. Yeah. And as a postal carrier, I'm assuming that if he works X number of years, he will be eligible for a federal pension. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So that pension would be known as a defined benefit plan. Mm. And defined benefit plans were done, like you may remember in the days of you know the Ford Motor Company just getting started, somebody would work 40 years at Ford, mm -hmm. would get a gold watch, they'd retire, and then they'd get their pension. Yep. That was a defined benefit plan. Gotcha. But those started going by the wayside uh, when defined benefit plans became really expensive to mm. continue. Gotcha. Right? Because as people's um, expected age of living mm -hmm. uh, continued to increase, it became more and more expensive to keep those those pensioners on. Interesting. Yeah. Got it. So there's defined benefit plan, yes. which is like quote unquote old school pension. Yep, pension. And then there's the defined contribution plan. Correct. Gotcha. And that is what the 401k is. Yes. Okay. Got it. Yes. And it's called a defined contribution plan because they are defining how much is contributed to that plan. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that many companies will offer a contr uh, contribution match. Mm -hmm. So whatever you contribute, let's say it's 3% or 6% of your salary, mm -hmm. your employer will then match that 6%. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So when I'm looking up, you know, what is a 401k, a 401k is a really, really good tool uh, that my company provides to help me with my retirement. Yes. And oftentimes they will match the contribution that I put into it. Correct. Gotcha. Correct. Okay. Now here's a question. Why would they do that? Why would they, why would they match? Yeah. Um, well, the, the response that comes to the top of mind is that they, it, it's an incentive, mm -hmm. right? So one, I would choose a company that matches what I contribute versus a company that doesn't. Right. Um, and I don't know if there's any, you know, I used to work for uh, a startup and they uh, offered um, options, but uh, they, you know, they had a vesting schedule. Oh, vesting. Vesting. That's uh, what we missed. Prior to a, yeah. a previous episode. Anyway, they had a vesting schedule, meaning you needed to stay for three, five, six years before you could actually uh, earn it or get it. Yes. So I'm assuming that a company would also offer a match so that way uh, they keep you. Right. Is that... That's hit exactly, the nail on the you head. hit the nail on the head. Yes. Awesome. It's to keep employees a longer time because okay. there probably is a vesting schedule of when you're going to receive your, your benefits. Mm -hmm. um, it's also a benefit of working for a specific one company over another company. Mm -hmm. And um, and then also I think inherently most companies want their people to be able to retire. Mm -hmm. And so without a defined benefit plan, a pension plan, the next best thing really is a 401k. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Now I know that there's a, um, not necessarily a new wave and, um, and I don't know how new it actually is, but I hear the term 401k and then I hear the term Roth 401k. Yes. So what's the main difference? The main difference, I'm sure that there's a lot, but what's yeah. the main difference? So the main difference is a traditional regular 401k, the money goes in pre-tax. Mm -hmm. So you would contribute to your 401k. It would reduce your taxable income mm -hmm. a little bit, um, based on how much you put in. And then when you withdraw the money, that is when it would be taxed mm -hmm. versus a Roth 401k, the money goes in post tax. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so you've already paid income taxes on that money. Then when you take it out at retirement, it comes out tax free. Gotcha. Okay. The Roth 401k right now is, uh, it's basically talked about as being a better investment vehicle for young people. Mm -hmm. uh, reason being 
there is a pretty fair expectation that our tax schedule will continue to go higher gotcha. over time. Gotcha. Right? Yep. When our country's $22 trillion in debt, that's okay. just kind of a given. A trillion. Yeah, that's yes. crazy. Okay, so we're young people for like you and I. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, the rock. Yeah, the two of us yeah. being young people. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, anything else around the 401k? Like, I know, I mean, there's so many things around like ages and stuff that I hear. Yes. You know, I, I do know that, um, well, one, Actually, let me talk about this. For the 401k, there's a limit in which you can max out your 401k. I hear people saying, I wanna max out my 401k, or how can I max out my 401k? Yes. Um, the numbers just increased from last year to this year. Yep. And that number is? So in 2019, you can put in $19,000. $19,000. Which I believe, doing the quick head math, huh. Is uh, one thousand five hundred eighty-three dollars and thirty-three cents a month. Oh, that was a very quick head math. Yeah. <laughs> beep boop, boop, beep boop. There you go. So, so fifteen hundred eighty-three, eighty-three, thirty-three. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so that amount of money would have to go in every single month in order to max out a, a, either a Roth four hundred one k or a four hundred one k. Gotcha. Nineteen thousand dollars a year. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, here's the thing about that: when you max out that amount of money is the money goes into that account and that, that money is now called qualified investments, mm -hmm. right? And qualified means it's government qualified money based on a qualified retirement plan like a 401k or we'll talk about probably tomorrow, mm -hmm. a Roth or an IRA, okay. right? Yep. Which is another qualified vehicle. Um, so when it goes into qualified funds, the only time you can get it is after the age of 59 and a half mm. and before the age, or 59 and a half to 70 and a half is when you have unfettered access to that money. Mm -hmm. Can you access it before then? Sure, but you're gonna pay a penalty. Yeah, gotcha. Right. Mm -hmm. Got it, okay. And it's very specific, 59 and a half. It is. So it's very important. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of components to the 401k. So, um, you know, I, I, uh, I worked at six different jobs before I started my own company. So uh, pretty familiar with, you know, having conversations with the HR department. To see, you know, what the match is, uh, what you know, is is there a match? You know, how how much am I actually contributing? Is there a Roth four hundred one k versus a traditional four hundred one k? So there's a lot of different components to it. So um, I mean, you shared a lot about it, but what I'm getting is that a four hundred one k, simply put, in like human terms for myself, it's uh, the your company is helping you for retirement. Yes. And um, it's a, a defined contribution plan, meaning they are going to know. The contribution is defined, right? The yeah, contribution. By them, yeah. Um, uh, and then also, I have a say in how much I also put in, and there's typically a match. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. It's very simple and easy. It is. Yeah. It is. So and everyone this, should be contributing if they have the opportunity. I think everybody that that is working for an employer that offers either a 401k or in nonprofit world, it'd be called a 403b, mm. uh, just a different tax status. Um, but anyone who is, who can contribute to a 401k or a 403b should be doing that. Mm -hmm. If nothing else than to build assets into retirement, Gotcha. because as we'll probably talk about in an upcoming show, uh, relying on just social security mm. for retirement, it's not social security. It's so, so, so security. security. It's only so, so security. <laughs> so, so security. Yeah. So um, the other thing that, that you might need to know is there are required minimum distributions mm. on these accounts that, that hit after the age of 70 and a half. And essentially it's a, it's kind of an equation, mm. right? Nick, and you, do you know the equation? Well, I don't know. Based the, on? I don't necessarily know the specific equation, but I knew that I do know the different components of it. Okay. Um, it really is based on, uh, you know, how old you are when you are quote unquote retirement age or when you retire um, and also your life expectancy. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a quiz. Um, <laughs> pop quiz. Yeah. So the RMD. Wait, sorry. Rephrase your question again. I just want to make sure I. Yeah. So the components of the required minimum distribution gotcha. amounts. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Because, you know, for some people, they might have, let's just assume, a million dollars in their account versus someone who has 50,000. So when you're taking these required minimum distributions, what number is that? It's based on life expectancy and um, you know how old you are. Um, yeah, how old you are when you retire? Yeah, life expectancy and the balance on your account, balance. basically. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, so good. Did we give them enough? 
I think we gave him a lot. Yeah, so let's let's give him a, a very clear challenge. Yes, let's do that. So first thing that we want to do is one, um, find out if uh, you are participating in your company's 401k or 403b. Um, you want to also find out if your company matches, and if they do, you should do everything you possibly can to participate in that and receive that match because it really is free money. It right? is free money. And who doesn't like free money? About as much as free beer. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the, le the next thing is that you want to find out um, if they have a Roth 401k option. If they do and you're young like Adam and myself, it might be something you want to uh, consider. Yes. And then the last thing, and this is really our challenge, so if you are doing that, if you had yeses to all of that, is really we invite you to increase the match or the uh, contribution of your 401k. So if you're contributing 3%, we invite you to raise it up by 1% to 4 Yeah. If you have 4 Raise it up to five. You bet. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the, the only thing I'll add to that is that you'll never miss it. Once you increase that percentage, some, pe some, some of you may be thinking, there is no way I can possibly afford another percent increase or decrease of my take-home pay. Mm -hmm. But in reality, you'll get really used to whatever your paycheck is. And, uh, and it's super gratifying to see those 401k balances or 403 balances grow. Yeah. I will say, just to add some context and numbers to it, if you're earning $50,000 a year and you're contributing 3%, to increase your contribution from 3 to 4% is $10 a week that you, won't, that you will uh, no longer have. Interesting. That's going to be. So $10 a week, that's... Um, two bougie two, coffees. Two, yeah, I was going to say two, <laughs> two something else. But uh, yeah, exactly. So, you know. Totally doable. I'm, now I'm curious what you were going to say. I was going to say beers. Did you talk about oh, beers? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say two Stellas. Two, there two you go. Stella. Two Stella. Two Stellas. Yeah. Okay. So, or cool. Two, or two bougie coffees. Two bougie coffees. There okay. you go. Tomorrow, I think we should talk about IRAs. IRAs. Yeah. Iras. Should we do that? Iras. Iras. Let's do it. All right. See you tomorrow, explorers.